In this video, I will show you how we can integrate one floating action button in Metroidy by React. The same project that uh, we are using for our previous tutorials. So for a floating action button, we need to import one component, it's called fab. So the first thing I need to import it here, import fab from it's from material ui core and fab then we can add it here okay now if i see that this is the base of this floating action button so we will add some colors and also one icon for icon we need to import it from uh it really why icons so let me uh, add one icon import i'm adding this add icon material ui icons okay you can find all the icons if you search for material UI icons and this is the list so I'm using this one wait add icon this icon I'm using so this is the import statement the same import statement I'm adding it here then we can edit inside this fab now if i check our project so here it is added we can also add some styles here like similarly like we did for any other uh, component so style let me add some margin top 300 now it's more 300 from top and we can also change the color of this fab to secondary it's, it is changed to secondary color and also we can change it to any other color like primary so it's changed also we can change the size of a fab so we can change it to like small this is small we can change it to large it's large or we can change it to mid let me add three floating action buttons one is of small Meet colors. Oh, I sense the color. No, here it is small, meet and large. Uh, it's actually medium the sizes that it supports. One more uh, different type of floating action button. Yeah, we can also add one icon with one text here. So let me show you. So it's called extended. Uh, we need to add one key property here, variant. So if I edit as extended, then it looks it looks different than the circular one. So here we can add some text. Say so this hello. So it adds some text here. This is of material uh, floating action button. We can also add some animation. For animation, we need to use one component. It's called zoom. I'm adding zoom animation for this. So I'm importing it from material by core zoom. So whenever we load this uh, page, then it will just start uh, popping out. So let me 
add this component zoom component here in equal to true that means that we do we are showing it uh, when the uh, page loads and also we can add some timeout here so for enter and exit we are adding on it 500 and for exit it's suppose it is 500 500 it's millisecond then if i put it inside this zoom and if i refresh it let me change it change the variant and remove it okay we need one more property here it's called amount on exit and it's zoom this one is zoom so here is the animation so okay don't need this one then if i reload it then you can see that we have the zoom animation here so this zoom animation is Define in the material UI doc material UI. So this is the zoom API. You can go through this documentation to see like different types of uh, properties it supports. So this is the basics of material UI floating action button. Uh, if you have any questions, please drop one comment below. And also, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. Thanks. Bye.